It's time to get educated on your Second Amendment right. Welcome to two full hours of Gun Owners Radio. Your hosts, Dave Stahl, Joe Dramisi, and Michael Schwartz will teach you about firearms, self-defense, and the laws that affect your rights to keep and bear arms. Visit GunOwnersRadio.com with questions to learn how to become a sponsor of Gun Owners Radio and get involved. Together, we will win. Now, here's your hosts, Dave Stahl, Joe Dramisi, and Michael Schwartz on The Answer San Diego. All right, folks. Hey, welcome to Gun Owners Radio, FM 961. AM 1170. The answer. Guess who's back? The world traveler. Yeah, there he is. Knows more about Motel 6 than anybody <laughs> in the country. But hey, folks, do you feel safe and are you protected? Yeah. Well, it's time to take ownership of your self-defense journey. The U.S. Concealed Carry Association believes the key ingredient is being a responsible firearms owner and is properly trained and educated. USCCA offers comprehensive training that helps you avoid danger while keeping you and your loved ones safe. More than 650,000 responsibly armed Americans like you have made the responsible decision to take control uh, of protecting themselves and their families. So get hands-on training from certified instructors, learn how to avoid danger, defend yourself, and protect your loved ones. Take responsibility for your own safety and and visit uscca.com slash g-o-r how's it going guys good man action jackson who did you get to shoot with on your vacation alina michelak oh where'd you guys shoot uh at sig's academy wow that's cool was it fun very is she pretty good at shooting yep yeah did you give her a few pointers uh no (laughs) you didn't teach her a thing or two no. Well, you have a totally different angle at the targets, Don. That's right. right. Yeah. Did you shoot anything different than what you own, or did they let you fire a cannon? Oh <laughs> uh, well, I shot my uh, Sig P320. Okay, and that's nice. That's awesome. Who's taller, you or her? She her. is. <laughs> right. Hey, we guessed right. Well, how cool is it to get to, to shoot at Sig? Were they nice to you? Were they super cool? Yeah. Actually, Where, where's yeah. your Sig hat? Oh, you got hey. your Sig shirt. Yeah. So you're halfway there. Good yep. deal. Always get the, always get the goodies. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. That's very very cool. So HR 1808. That's the uh, assault weapons ban. Isn't that fun? Right, <laughs> Joe. That's the assault weapons ban. 1808. Is that the one, or is that the general uh, the uh, general gun uh, common sense gun law? Could be the assault weapons ban. Is that the one that just went to the Senate? It's the one that just got out of the House House. of Representatives. Now it's off to the Senate. And it's off to the Senate. It's the uh, 2022 assault weapons ban. And uh, basically, it's just like every other assault weapons ban. It's a weapons ban. Um, It's uh, the way it's, you know, the way it's, 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 it's it's cut and paste from California is really what it is. Oh, it is. Which is what we've been saying for years. Everybody that leaves California, we told you this is following you. Um, everybody that uh, you know wonders why we should fight in California. This is why we should fight in California. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's unfortunate that it passed. It passed just barely. Um, seven Democrats voted against it. Two Republicans voted for it. Which is more significant? I don't think there's a right answer. But yeah, it's th- actually interesting it was that close. Yeah, really. Considering the majority there with the Democrats, it's surprising it was that close. Well, here's my my bet is we're in an election year. My bet is the way this worked is, you know, most of the folks voted how they're going to vote. But it when it comes down to it, the Democrats and the Republicans get together and say, "Hey, you know, we understand that this thing's going to pass." So, these folks have to vote for it or these folks have to vote against it because of their district that's their excuse yeah and that's what i saw when i looked at the list of the ones like the democrats that voted for it and they were from um you know i couldn't tell they were from states like texas florida and uh so that's what that was my guess too but they're from areas where they have to uh, well but that's all coordinated so they knew this thing was going to pass by two votes and they, they they that's all coordinated you know that they absolutely get together and coordinate this. Um, yeah. Well, plus they can do it too because it's safe because they know it, it needs it, it needs sixty votes to get anywhere in the Senate. Yeah, and they're not going to get that many. I mean, even with people like Mitt Romney and, and 
uh, Lisa Murkowski and those people, it's still not going to get. What would would you that. where would you put uh, w- would you put money on? Uh, is Romney going to vote for it? I bet he would. Yeah. Cause yeah. Because we'll see, they play the same game, though, right? He says yeah. he could he could vote for it and play the political card on that, knowing that okay, just him voting for it isn't going to be enough for it to go any place. Although I don't know that he cares really. I don't know. He's he's different. You think? But I, but in, I don't think Utah. I don't think he's that's going to go over well in Utah. Well, he shouldn't go over well in Utah, and yet there he is. <laughs> So, would you put money on it, Dave? Would you put money that uh, Mitt Romney's going to vote for an assault weapons ban? Mm, no, I think he's going to do it. You think he's going to vote for it? Yeah, yeah, he's got to. Well, but he's a Republican, everybody, right? I know. I know. Republicans well, I, are all our friends. Absolutely, they're. I mean, they really are. Well, it was highly disappointing. Um, but were you surprised? You know, I, I'll be totally honest with you. I'm so naive. I'm <laughs> such a an innocent. You know. Babe butterfly, in the woods, just a little butterfly, <laughs> just doe-eyed, you know, innocent. Yeah. Oh, the sun's come up. I, I was, uh, I was at home singing "Kumbaya" when I heard about this. <laughs> Honestly, I was surprised. I, I really, I can't believe that that, that after the uh, the the Bruin uh, decision, mm-hmm. um, that they pulled this ridiculous. That, was, get that was very surprising to you. It really was. I, I just don't understand. They don't care. Well, <laughs> right. I just I don't mean, understand. Like, if you know something is is uh, bad, is so, um, I mean, it's just not going to stand. So let's say it gets through the Senate. It's not going to get through the Senate, but let's say it gets through the Senate. And the president signs it. He would definitely sign it if it got through. It, it's not going to, there's no way an assault weapons ban is going to stand in, in, in court. But, but see, they keep saying that, didn't he do an assault weapons ban? Yeah, back that was, in the that was night. him back in the eighties. Guy, I guess. Back, well, he was. Yeah, he was involved in that. And it went eighteen years. His big thing was the school thing. No, the, it and only nothing went, changed. Who are we talking about? No, no, no. He well, Biden. He Biden. Was yeah, that was nine, but, early nineties. Ninety. Right, but and that it was, went that for was how many years? Place. Ten years. Twelve. Ten years. It okay. went ten years and sunset. And what were the results at the end nothing. of the ten years? No difference at all. So why are they doing it again? Well, I, I, because I, I, again, we, it's not. It's not about crime it's not about right. safety it's about right. control it's right. about disarming people right. that's what it's about it's all it is and, well and it's yeah and it's about follow it's you know they've created a narrative now they have to follow it um but I, honestly i was i was kind of surprised they were going to divert their attention it's not it's not very popular <laughs> as opposed to like what working on inflation or anything uh, or that kind of stuff but there, I, I guess what I'm saying is, in a, in an election year, I, you know, the real I think the real reason they did it now is they feel like, hey, we want to try to get people to take a stand in an election, so we can either you know use it use it for you know use it against them. And there are so many other things going on right now that they could have been more successful. Yeah, like, but this is a hot button for them. It, it is, but there's so many other hot. I, I was surprised. Is what it boils down to. I thought, why? Why would you, you think their this? baskets full of hot buttons? Yeah, there's nothing. They're, well, they, they should the, be riding high now, right? Because they they got rid of the recession. You just changed the definition. Oh, now. that's that's not. A you problem know what anymore. I feel? So much. I'll buy you breakfast tomorrow if you're in Alpine. <laughs> I'll just have to explain it to the restaurant. Well, everybody listening out there, um, it's next stop is the Senate. I highly, highly, highly doubt they're going to get the votes to for it to pass the Senate. Um, and may, maybe that's the strategy so that they can complain or whatever. But. Um, the reality is, that, even if this thing passes, it's it's unconstitutional. And that yeah. that decision, the Bruin decision, clearly states that. You right? know, but that but you see states like California, and New Jersey, and Massachusetts use that as a strategy because they know, okay, even if it's unconstitutional, we'll get to impose it for at least a couple of years mm-hmm. while it works its way through the courts. Sure. I mean, that's typically what goes on, right? Mm-hmm. Hopefully, the Bruin decision means we're going to start getting the injunctions that we never get. <laughs> We'll oh, see. Yeah. I think yeah. we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of activity in the coming year, anyway. So we'll see what happens. I, I think that's that's really. I think that's what the Bruin decision is going to do. It's going to give us a lot of activity in the next five to ten years. Like I told you, John said, "Boy, am I going to be busy next year." He is. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip from Gun Owners Radio. You can watch us live every Sunday from four to six p.m. California time, right here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can listen to us on eleven seventy a.m. We're also available on your favorite podcast platform for free. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can help restore and protect the Second Amendment, not just in California, but across the country.